Hello everyone and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am CS Anjana Mishra working as the lead functional consultant at BISP Solutions. I specialize in synthesizing and analyzing the financial data. I have seven years of experience in NetSuite, HFM, FCCS. BISP Solutions is a tech company providing technological solutions across the globe. We have a far-flung proficiency in end-to-end -end implementation and support. Today we'll be looking at creating a purchase request in the Oracle NetSuite application. So let us start moving on to our NetSuite application. So this is my NetSuite application. Now in order to create a new purchase request, uh, I will be going on to this requisition form over here. So this is the requisition form. This is a standard requisition form. You can also create a customized requisition form uh, based on the options that you would like to see on your screen or on your form uh, based on your organization's uh, preferences and choices and the information that you would like to put into the uh, requisition forms. Uh, so the request number or the requisition form number is automatically populated by the number that the that is there into the system. Uh, you can also give a unique uh, requisition uh, number if you have. Requester, this is automatically selected from the role uh, that you have actually logged into the application. Uh, received by the person who will be responsible. Uh, date of the requisition, any memo you would like to add. Uh, over here, you can select the subsidiary uh, from which for which you are going. You are actually creating a purchase requisition, class, location, department. All this information you can actually provide over here. Now, the approval status. You, if you are not the administrator, if you're not the ultimate person who holds the uh, responsibility of. Uh, I mean, approving the requisition or purchases or something, you can of course have a workflow where you request for the requisition and uh, some your your uh, superior is going to approve the requisition and then a purchase order is created and so on the whole workflow is actually uh, maintained or like that but uh, here since i'm the ultimate uh, approver so i have uh, kept the status as approved you if you are not the ultimate approver you can give a, get a pending approval and you can choose who is the next approver uh, from here from the employee list that you have the uh, next approver will be you can choose who will who is the superior person who is your superior who is going to approve the uh, request uh, now the next information that you can provide is import permit number document date uh, declaration number uh, gst amount that is the amount for the open air um, uh, gst hst amount uh, approver for this particular open air expense, uh, supervisor, project, report number, uh, all of this you can actually populate into this uh, requisition form. Uh, now from here, if uh, requisition is for an expense, you can actually put an expense. If it is for an item, you can of course populate an item over here. So all this is the item that I have. This is the item for which I would like to provide uh, get a requisition from. Uh, now, most of the time when an item is created, vendor uh, amount, I mean the quantity, that is the rate per item, description for that particular uh, item, etc., is automatically selected when you are creating uh, the item, that is the inventory item for your organization and if it is not selected then the when you can of course select the vendor from the drop down list that comes over here but most of the time the vendor etc uh, all the information about the inventory item is selected into the uh, item when it is created because once an item is created a supplier is already there for that for which a new vendor is created so and the amount rate per item for that particular uh, inventory item is also uh, prefixed most of the times and if it is not uh, of course if a new contract has been entered etc you can of course change the estimated amount estimated rate etc over here which is going to show up uh, show up in the estimated rate uh, quantity etc uh, which you have so here i would like to have three uh, uh, five sorry five quantities over here five uh, quantity of this particular item i would like to request as you can see the estimated amount has been changed all these things have been automatically populated 
any relationships communication the person responsible uh, for the vendor uh, any etc tax reporting purposes uh, purpose information the tax code the amount uh, supply code uh, date of taxability that is the tax date of ta uh, taxable supply mode of transport etc you can have, of course select and put up over here all this information can actually be populated and once uh, everything has been done you can actually save the requisition so my requisition has been saved this one was the requisition number as you can see over here document number was 6 uh, this was the requisition that i had actually uh, put up uh, request i had actually uh, put up and uh, i requested this particular uh, invoice i mean item number the amount for that is this and uh, the status is pending order the reason being it is automatically approved had i put it under the pending approval the status would have shown pending approval and once all the uh, order has been processed etc everything would have been done as you can see in two three of the requisitions uh, have been closed so the requisition would have been closed once the order is placed and the billing has been done the requisition for this particular uh, item would have been uh, for this particular request have been would have been closed so this was uh, how you can actually create a purchase requisition you can request uh, purchase orders or purchase from uh, your particular superior or, or any approver who is there into the organization you can request a purchase you can uh, put on a purchase requisition and so this was all into the netsuite application that you can do uh, in case of any queries questions or any information regarding the netsuite application you can of course get back to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you so much